Hi guys and welcome to part two of the mini mail challenge 2021. I'm really excited for today's video. I have 17 mini mails to open up on camera for you guys. Now to get started, I wanted to announce the winners of part one. So the two winners are Savannah. So she was number three in the last um, mini mail opening and she made this adorable little mailbox mini mail and she was the subscriber's choice. So thank you so much for entering. Send me through an email. I will send you your um, giveaway prize this week. And then I selected Ethany, which was number two in the last mini mail challenge because of the creativity. And I haven't received one of these in the mail for a mini mail challenge before. So I thought it was very unique. So congratulations to Ethany and Saviana for being our two winners for part one. To vote, all you'll need to do is jot down the number that's shown next to the mini mail and then I have the link in the description box below. It will say vote here and the link will take you to a survey page. So let's get started. I also just wanted to quickly remind you guys that I'll have part one linked in the description box and all the other previous years as well. If you're new to my channel, I make snail mail videos weekly. I have a playlist of over 50 snail mail tutorials. So go check that out if you wanna see some more tutorials from me and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's jump into the video and I'll show you what mini mails I have for part two for you today. So this is the first mini mail of part two and I thought I would start with this one because I absolutely adored the mail art on the front. I'm actually going to cut out the mail art on the front of this little box and stick it straight into my journal. I love all the yellows and vibrant colours. So let's get started. This one is from Kita from the United Kingdom. So inside of the little box was another little envelope. And again, I'm loving the collaging that you're doing on here. Look, and the mushroom sticker, that is so gorgeous. Okay, so I'll pop that one down. And then behind we have mini gallery shop objects inside. Be careful. Okay, let's see what this is. Alrighty, so we've got pins in this one. Okay, that's odd. Well, we'll see what that is for in a second. And then we've got something in here. They kind of look like tags. And then it says mini gallery instructions. So we've got instructions here and it says contents. Gallery, large piece of card, hooks, four drawing pins, art, mini cards. Open the gallery and insert pins so that the sharp points face inwards. The same side as the wood. Okay, using the brown page protector tabs on top of the mini cards, hang your choice of four art pieces. Oh my goodness! Swatch me one you like. Okay, this is a lot of fun. All right, I'll pop this down here so I can see that there's four holes here. What fun! And now they hang on the gallery wall. That is such a lovely idea. Alrighty, so next I'll open up this beautiful envelope. So let's see what we have inside. Oh, that sticker is so gorgeous. I wanna keep everything. I love your collection. Oh my goodness, what's inside? Alrighty, so let's see what's inside this first. And it's adorable with its two pockets, little cat and teacup. And then inside it looks like homemade goodies. This is so lovely. So we have this little cat memo pad. We've got little cutouts. I think these are stickers. And then some more little memo pads. Lots of little goodies inside. And then on the back, oh, these are so cute. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. And then we have two more little mini envelopes inside. And this one says, to Brittany. From Kita. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's see what's inside of the two Britney first. Oh, this is so cute. I'll pop down the little envelope. So we've got lots and lots of goodies in all of these pockets. Little mini washi tape sample. Stickers, papers. Oh, this one flaps down. Oh, how lovely is that? And then I think there's another little mini envelope. 
Oh my goodness, I'll pop that down for now. And then the gorgeous stamp stickers. Look how gorgeous these are. I love mushrooms. This one is one of my favourites. So cute, thank you. And then we have this teeny tiny mail inside of the flip book. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's a postcard. And it's got my address. Wish you were here. Brittany Macau in West End, Australia. <gasps> I love that. That's so small. Thank you. And then next we have another little envelope from Kita. Oh, wow. It's another little flip book. This is so gorgeous. I love these washi tape samples. And some cute little stickers. Everything's made so sweet, like even the pockets. Thank you so much. I can't wait to use these stickers as well. They're so lovely. How gorgeous are all these styles? Thank you so much for sending all this. I absolutely loved your mini mail. So the second mini mail is from Desi from Germany. And then look, there's a tiny little envelope inside. I love the mail art on this. It's so sweet and small. Okay, let's see what is inside. Oh no, it gets small. I love it. <gasps> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, I don't want to open these. They're just wrapped so pretty. Okay. How do I open it? I think it's going to be a little flip book. This is so sweet. All right, I'll put the little envelope down for you. And then it opens up again. Oh, I love the colors and the vibrancy of this one. So, um, what does this say? I think that's the little letter. So I'll pop that one back in. And then in the middle here, I love this little um, quote, happiness is homemade. And then we've got these adorable little tags. Thank you. And they've all got string on them. Little homemade tags. And then some stamps. Little alligator. Little bear, I think. And a birdie. Thank you, Desi, for entering the mini mail challenge. I'll read your letter afterwards. Your designing and color palette is so sweet. I love the vibrancy. So this next mail is from Lulu from England. And I just love the stickers on the front of this. The post box and the little letters and the snail mail. They're just so cute. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I love it when you guys already have a pretty small envelope and then there's an even smaller one inside. So to Brittany, happy mail, mini mail challenge. And then we've got a little gingerbread, this little teacup, and then also this adorable stamp. I'm loving your stickers. Also this um, envelope looks handmade too. Oh, this is adorable, okay. It actually looks like you might have upcycled some packaging. It's really, really cute. And it's a little flip book. Okay, so we've got memo notes. We've got an adorable playlist. Let's play. I'll read that one in a second. And then it looks like a little drawing. So you do not find the happy life, you make it. That's a sweet little quote card and then we've got some washi tape samples an adorable tiny teeny letter <laughs> and then we've got stickers and origami all right I'll pop those two aside and I'll pop those ones back in and I'll read the letter after the video so we've got these teeny tiny envelopes so let's see what kind of stickers are in here I hope it's the ones you've been decorating everything oh <gasps> yes these are so cute and tiny. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be popping these straight in my planner. And then we've also got this one here that says origami on it. I wonder what you've created. Oh, that is so cute. Look how small they are. Oh my 
my goodness. I can't imagine folding these. I can't even pick them up because they're so tiny. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. You've done such a beautiful job at making this mini mail. Thank you so much for entering our mini mail challenge. Next, we actually have this huge envelope and it says it gets smaller inside, so don't worry. This is actually from Australia and it's from Peyton. So thank you so much. I can't wait to see how small it gets inside. Okay, there is a full package inside and the fabric on here is so lovely. I actually adore how you wrapped this with the little Kiki K tag. Oh my goodness, look how colorful and fun this is. Look at all the sequins inside. And then this card here says, there's no one like you. I love that so much. All right, let's see what's inside this parcel. So I think this is actually like a pocket shaker the sequins. I thought they were all going to like explode on me. <laughs> this is so fun. How do I get this out without ripping it? Ah, no, it's stuck. Okay, that's good. We didn't rip it. And then we've got the teeny tiny mail. I love how fun that is. And it doesn't explode. Sometimes I've opened up mail and my whole room is covered in glitter. But I think that's a lovely idea. Thank you. Look how creative this is. So it looks like a french fries like packet, like something you would get from Maccas. And then there's all teeny tiny things inside of here. So I'll pop that one down. Sometimes the smallest things are the world's greatest wonders. Oh, this is so cool. We've got all little tiny um, envelopes and this one says my little book of Totoro <gasps> okay we'll have to re read all this in a second and then this one says return address so I'll pop that over there with the letter okay I really want to see what's inside the little Totoro book for Brittany from Peyton <gasps> the little drawings this is so sweet oh my goodness I love this so much. And then we've got little printouts, little toddler on Pikachu. And then we've got paper cutouts, I think of Totoro. Let me check. Oh, I can't get them out. They're a little bit stuck. Yeah, they're all Totoro. That is so sweet. What a lovely idea. Thank you so much. And then next we got all these little bears on this little mini envelope. So let's open this one up. Like there's little hearts and little words like family, YouTube. I'll have to figure this one out in a second and see if it all creates like a sentence or something. Mini mail, create. Maybe I can use these for journaling. I'll have a read through the letter as well and see if there's an explanation. But thank you. So next it looks like we've got a little flip book. So I'll take this little paper clip off. And we've got a little rubber band. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. We've got a tiny, teeny, tiny envelope. A tiny, teeny, tiny. <laughs> and then we've got stickers. And then little pockets, little mail tag. And then I think we've got a little book under here. And then more goodies. I won't open them all up because like I said, if I open everything up. Oh, and there's a little flap just for you, Brittany. <laughs> I'll pop little Taylor Swift back in. And then I'll see if this is a tiny, teeny book. It is. A little handmade book. It's so sweet, thank you. And then we'll see if there's anything inside this little envelope. A washi tape sample. Look how small this washi tape sample is. I love this little envelope, thank you. There were so many tiny goodies in this little flip book and this mini mail keeps going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how creative this is. And it literally says creativity. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 
So I've actually got a wall of little drawings that you guys have made for me. So I'll pop that straight on my pin board next to my other drawings. Thank you so much. I love seeing these. We've got another little envelope full of goodies. There are so many handmade things in this. All these little trinkets and little extras, friendship charms, bracelets that say my name on it. This is so sweet, thank you so much. And then the lucky last thing in this package is, I think it's going to be another little flip book. And it says mini mail. Oh, this is so cool. All right, I don't know which way it opens, so let's open it this way. So that's the letter in there, so it's private. And then we've got some goodies in here. And then the little, um, a tea. Thank you. And then these little collage cards. And then in here we've got a few more little bits of pieces and a few teeny tiny postcards. Thank you so much, Peyton. I absolutely loved opening up your mini mail. It looks like you've put a lot of time and effort into every single element of this mini mail, down to the little books, to the little envelopes, all the flip books and handmade things. So thank you so much and thanks for joining our little mini mail challenge for 2021. Next, we have this big envelope from Sarah from Canada. So I already had a quick peek inside of this one and I saw that she created this beautiful gift for my sister Stacy. And it says, please pass this little gift to Stacy. And I know my sister's gonna love this because she loves these colors. And I just thought this was so adorable and sweet. And I already text Stacy a photo of this and she wanted to say a huge thank you to Sarah for sending her this. Um, she's going to love it. So I'm not gonna open this one up because I want my sister to open it as it's been wrapped and then I haven't had a look in this one but it looks so pretty I love that it's wrapped in this little yellow baggie so let's see what we've got inside oh my goodness there's like charms and it's been wrapped in this um, like lace this is so pretty Look, there's an Etsy shop, Art of Gem Stationery. Go check it out. I'll have a look after this video too. Um, and I'll see what's on the Etsy shop. I can't wait to see what you sell. Look at this gorgeous gem on the back. Everything about this is so beautiful. And then this one here on the front. Okay, how do you open this? This is so sweet. Oh my goodness, is this a handmade book? I thought this was the packaging, but I think this is the outside. This is so lovely. Oh my goodness. This clip has a little mini mail on it. Can you guys see that? So it's a little paper clip and it's got a little envelope that says, please deliver to Brittany. It's got a little air mail. And then underneath are these teeny tiny washi tape samples. I don't want to take them off. I want to keep them on. Um, so I can journal with them later. And then on this side, it looks like there's a handmade book and an envelope. I'll flip this open before taking things out. And then we've got a gorgeous little charm and it's so teeny tiny. I think we've got a letter under there. And then the rest, I think it's a gorgeous book with these beautiful papers. And then another teeny tiny diary. Okay, we'll take all the teeny things out. This looks like handmade paper. And you can see that it's all sewn in here at the top and bottom. And then this one is also like a little pocket. And you can see the pocket has been sewn in as well. Okay, I'm gonna wrap that back up. That's so lovely, oh my goodness. So these were all the miniatures inside. So we've got this adorable little tiny diary. It's so sweet. We've got a tiny little envelope. And then this bag 
with, I think it's a diary inside with more charms. I love this so much. We'll see what's inside this little envelope first. Your writing is so sweet. Oh my goodness. So it reads, Dear Brittany, I hope you like this tiny book about gemstones. I made it with printables from an Etsy shop called Styled to, for Design, I think it says. All the tiny gems on are real and the mini paper clips are copper. Sarah, how lovely. Okay, so that's a little mini envelope that matches this little mini gemstone book. Okay. So I'll see if I can do a close up and hopefully that's in focus. Wow. Amethyst and then the little gemstone on top. Oh my goodness, look at the paper clip. Can you guys see that? I think there's gonna be a little gemstone for every page. Can you guys see how small these little paper clips with gemstones are? Okay, I need to find the right page now that I took it off. My fingers are too big. <laughs> and every little page has information about the gemstone. Thank you so much. I absolutely adore this book and I'm going to actually read it properly off camera and see the intricate details that you've included. Lastly in this pack is a little envelope. We've got a lovely little letter inside of this envelope as well as these gemstone post-it notes. So thank you so much. Once again, here's the Etsy store if you want to go check it out. I can't wait to see what you sell because I adored everything in this mini mail today. So thank you. This envelope is so gorgeous. It's from Singapore and I'm pretty sure you pronounce your name Eleanor. So as you can see, the address is on the front and then the actual mail art is designed on the white envelope underneath so you can see it through the vellum envelope. I love that design so much. I just adore your colour palette. The pastels are so pretty. So let's see what we've got inside. So we've actually got an Instagram on the back. There's a close up on the Instagram. You can pause the screen now if you want to go check it out. I'll have a look at your Instagram after this video. And let's see what's inside for the mini mail challenge. All right, so this one has the letter on it. So I'm going to leave that one face down in case it's private. And then look at all these goodies. So we've got another little vellum envelope here. So I'll open that one up in a second. And then it looks like we've got these beautiful, it kind of looks like handmade papers. And they're all cut out to make mini envelopes. That's such a lovely idea. Thank you. And then we've got this gorgeous writing paper. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's textured. I'll see if I can do a close up. It's like this gorgeous textured paper. And it's so lovely with this little fairy on top. It looks like an enchanted forest. And then it looks like this is the flip book. This is so cute. Okay. I think it was laid out flat so that it wasn't a chunky envelope. Um, I'll pop that one down and I think the flip book flips in like so. There we go. So I think that's how the flip book flips in. And on top we've got this adorable sticker. I love that so much. Little references to Japanese culture there with little sushi. And then we've got a little Totoro. And then I can see some more Totoros in here. And then we've got these gorgeous little sushis with faces. And then it flips out again. This is so pretty. I love the colours and the collages that you've used. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see how cool this is. But it's 3D. And there's like gemstones on the back and it looks like it's been collaged with all these um, bits of double-sided like thick tape. And we've got two little tags. 
which I think these are little Kiki K stickers in there. And then, oh, there's something else. These are so sweet. Oh my goodness. There's little collages on these vellum paper. They're going straight in my journal. That's such a lovely idea. Little traveler's notebook as well. Your stationery is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Mini planet stickers. And then these. Oh, these are so cute. Are these your own stickers? I'm going to go have to check out your shop and see which ones you make. They're so small and tiny. I love them so much. And then we've got another little pocket. <gasps> They're mini tiny wax seal. And it's little bubble teas inside and little envelopes. This is so sweet. So next, this was the little vellum envelope we had at the start. Oh my goodness, I think this makes a mailbox. Like a teeny tiny one. It says glue here and we've got all the little sections. And there's even a little drawing on the front here of what it's going to look like. I will definitely be making that one. I'm going to put that aside because I might make that straight after the video. There is another little mini envelope. I adore the washi tape that you're using. It's so autumnal and cute. And it's a little book. This is so lovely. <gasps> and there's stickers inside each page. And I think I can peel them off. I think it's paper that I can peel off. Little Japanese stickers. Ones with gemstones. Moons. Little woman. I think that's a froggy. <laughs> oh, I skipped a few. I think I saw a Totoro. Oh, and these little circles. Little Disney ticket and a little Totoro. This is so lovely. It's a little sticker book. And it's really well designed too. Like this is pretty thick cardstock. Thank you so much for sending all these. I'm going to read your letter afterwards and I'm also going to make this little mini mailbox as well. And I adore everything in this flip book. It was so lovely and I'm going to be journaling all afternoon. So thank you. Next, we have this pretty pink envelope from Imogen. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. Mini mail for Brittany. And then there's this adorable envelope inside. I love that all your mini mails have my address, even though they're not the envelope getting sent in the mail. I think it's adorable. And we've got these pretty flower stickers. I'll cut this because I don't want to wreck the flowers. And the envelope looks handmade. There's butterflies on it. Oops, it actually <laughs> peeled off. Oops, I can keep the sticker then. Oh, it's an adorable little flip book. This is so sweet. And then it goes up. And then it goes out again. And then this one has a little tea tag on it. And it says, share your strengths, not your weaknesses. I love that. This says all about me. And we've got my name. And then we've got lots of goodies in here. A little handmade postcard. And then some beautiful tags. I think that might be the letter. It says open me here. Oh my goodness, it opens up again. We've got a little playlist. These beautiful stickers and it's like a little vellum pocket. And like a tic-tac-toe. That is so sweet. And then we've got another little pocket here with some beautiful washi tape samples. Thank you so much for this gorgeous flip book. I love how you've made all the pockets and how everything opens up. 
You did such a good job. I can't even close it because it's so chunky now. <laughs> The way that you package and the design, it was so sweet that it was on this little card and had a little pocket for it. Thank you, I loved it. This mini mail is from Jenny Wright and it looks like it's going to be a nature themed. I love that it says grow, it's got this little um, worm on the front. Hopefully it's going to be very botanical. So inside of these two little bundles and it looks like there's going to be a lot to unpack. So let's start off with this one here. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is so intriguing. <gasps> is this legit a button book? Oh my goodness. This is so creative. So there's two buttons, one on the back and one on the front. And then the string is actually hot glued on so that you can just easily tie it back up into a little bow. And then she must have made all of the papers stick together. Oh, I didn't even see the front of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've got fishies. I love the drawings. That is so pretty. Thank you so much. You guys are consistently blowing me away with your creativity. I've never seen a button book before. I love it. Maybe I'll have to recreate one. Okay, we'll pop that one down. You've already blown me away and I've only opened up one thing yet so I can't wait to see what else is in here. And also I think these are stamped on. So we've got bits of ephemera. How do you open this? Beautiful. So there's like all really unique things in here. Batman, mushrooms, stamps, Thursday, little cutouts. This is so gorgeous. Thank you so much for all these goodies. I can't wait to go through them. I love lots of unique stationery. Okay, we've got a tiny male hug. I don't even know how that's gonna work. All right, we'll put that one aside. I'm really excited for that one. And then we've got this gorgeous flip book. I love your collaging, it's so unique. And these like tassels will have stars in them. Oh my goodness. Erasers, little piggy. Some beautiful handmade, like, I think it's watercolor. And then the Instagram. I'll hold that one up if you want to go check out their Instagram and I'm going to have a look at the end because I love the ideas you create. I think you're going to give me lots of great ideas over on the Instagram. And then there is little tags. Oh, they both say for you. I can't wait to check out your Instagram. I'll pop this little piggy back in. And the erasers. And then on this side we have a little snail mailman. A little witch's cauldron. Some stickers. I'm not going to open these up, but I can see that they're adorable. And then the beautiful letter. All right. Let's see what's inside of the tiny mail hug. I'm just loving how creative this package is. Tiny mail hug. And then all the stars are put on around the string. And then it comes together like a little hug with two hands like that so the little hands come together like a little hug I love it thank you so much thank you so much Jenny I was blown away from these ideas I appreciate you joining our mini mail challenge next we have this letter and in the email you said it was either Mars or Marin I think so I'll call you Mars throughout this video I hope that's all right and this one was sent from the United States so let's see what's inside so on top it looks like that's the letter where it says for you yep oh a second letter okay <laughs> and then we've got I think these are stamps and they've got a paper clip full of stamps there and then I think this is a little like loaded pocket. So these are all goodies in this pocket here. What a pretty pocket. I love that. So in the pretty pocket we had a washi tape sample. 
some gorgeous stickers. I'm definitely going to use this little cat one. Little doily. Oh, that's beautiful. I think these might have been cut out of magazines. Some pretty paper. Some more little bits of ephemera. And it looks like we've got some more pretty paper here. And then we've got this pretty pink envelope that says for you. <gasps> and a beautiful wax seal with an M. I don't want to wreck the wax seal, but I'll cut it out the top. And these are all the Kiki K envelopes. So we have more of these beautiful cat stickers. I love them. They're so cute. Uh, and then I think we've got a tinier mail. <gasps> it's so cute. Mini mail. Another little mini mail. And then another letter. I'll pop that down with the next one. And some more stickers. Your handwriting is gorgeous. So this one says Brittany McCowan, Australia. And then this one says mini mail. And you can see it even gets tinier. So I'll pop that one down and we'll do this one first. Oh my goodness. <gasps> It gets even smaller. Teeny weeny mail. <laughs> Can you guys see that mini mail there? It's so tiny. It's like the same size as my thumb. <laughs> we'll put the mini mail down so we can open this teeny tiny flip book. Also, I love the colors you've used throughout this entire mail. This is so tiny. And I love that you have a playlist and an about me section. That is so cute. They could go on my little mini bookshelf. And then next, I'm going to have to try to open this teeny tiny envelope. Your handwriting is so small. I don't even know if I can open up the next one. <laughs> it's an even smaller envelope. Bet you thought it didn't get tinier. <laughs> no, I honestly didn't. That is so tiny. And lastly, we have another mini mail. So let's see how I open this. Imagine if it gets as small as the other one. I'll be blown away. <gasps> it's a gorgeous little flip book. Miniature stickers that I can't pull out because my hands are too big. <laughs> and then on the back, oh, what is this? What? I really don't want to break it, but I think it flips out even more with more little goodies in it. Thank you so much. I loved your color palette and your beautiful handwriting and how creative you were. And the flip book got even smaller and smaller each time. So thank you. I loved how teeny tiny you made it. So the next letter we have today is from Armandine from France. And it looks like it's quite a big one, but let's see how small it can get. Inside, it looks like it's been wrapped to look like a beautiful package and it says with love. And then there's a gorgeous wax seal with a love heart. This is so gorgeous. It looks like it's going to be space theme. So we've got the lovely letter. And now I'm not sure if this is part of the mini mail challenge. This looks like quite a big flip book. Maybe I'm opening regular mail right now. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So we've got an out of the world flip book here. Astronomy. And then at the top there, it says dream big. I'll pop that one aside. Oh my goodness, that's so lovely. It says Stardust. That's such a creative idea. You are my space. And then we've got beautiful ephemera. I'll pop that back in. I wish you a magical day. This is such a lovely flip book. We've got a tea and then a cute little tag that says hello and then it says star on it. You've designed this so beautifully. I don't think it's part of the mini mail challenge, but thank you so much for this beautiful space flip book. I'll have to read the letter and check. So I just read your letter and it's definitely part of the mini mail challenge. So thank you so much for entering. I adore your space theme. It was just so cool. I love it so much. A lot bigger than our mini mails that we've had so far, but I love the way that you've designed this. So this one is from Hannah from the United States and it looks like it's going to be a cacti theme. <laughs> All right, we've got my name on the front. So let's peel this off and then it opens up to a gorgeous little flip book. 
Such a fun flip book idea. So at the top it's a little vellum pocket and then all you've done is get a rectangle piece of paper and just fold up the bottom to make a flap. I love that. And such pretty paper as well. So on top we have some beautiful plant sticky notes. Crazy plant lady. <laughs> I will survive. So I have so many plants at the moment. This is so gorgeous. I love the colour palette you've used. And then inside we've got some beautiful ephemera bits. And then I think, what is this? We've got a mini collage kit. That's such a lovely idea. And then is this the letter? I oh know, it's just some beautiful paper. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I'll definitely be using that for collaging. And then maybe the letter's in here. I hope I'm not chopping it. <gasps> oh no, I chopped something. Okay, it was a flip book, but I accidentally chopped it, so I'm so sorry. But that said pull, and I think I might have chopped your pocket off. And then we've got a gorgeous little pocket in there. I'm gonna flip that one down because I think I saw the letter. And then on YouTube, it's the paper pad. So go check out the paper pad. And then on Instagram, it's the underscore paper underscore pad. So I'll go check out your Instagram as well. Thank you, Hannah. And then some washi tape. And then I'm sorry about cutting through your flip book. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could have shown it the way you made it. You are on point. And then there's another beautiful little quote there. And I think that was inside of there. <laughs> so again, I'm sorry I chopped your flip book in half. And then we've also got a little load of pocket with all of these little um, pockets. I'll show you. So we've got this little tag that was turned into a little loaded pocket with the brown, the vellum, and then the tissue paper. Inside the little loaded pocket was all these goodies. Thank you so much, I'm loving your colour palette. And last we have this little collage kit. And then inside we've got all of these beautiful bits and pieces. Washi tape samples, cutouts, ephemera bits, bits of paper, already pre-made collages. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hannah. I loved how green this snail mail was. It was very cute and I'm definitely gonna go check out your YouTube channel. Thanks for joining the mini mail challenge. So this next mini mail is from Kesley from the United States. And it says, please read big letter first. Okay. And then it says big letter. <laughs> I love the directions on this one. And then we've got teeny tiny males inside. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look how small that is. It's just gorgeous. So in the letter, it basically says that this is a little mini letter with extras inside, washi samples and stickers. And then this little Ziploc bag has miniatures that she's made and she signed her name as Kit. So thank you so much. So also in the letter, she wrote that she had a YouTube channel. So that's the name of the YouTube channel if you wanna go check it out. So inside of this little baggie, it says we've got a little mini collage. We've got a little mini pumpkin. It's so tiny. <laughs> We've got a little mini cat toy and then also a little mini lollipop. It's so sweet. I can't get over how small this little pumpkin is. And next we have this teeny tiny letter. So I'll take off the bow. And I'm just going to take a quick picture because it's so small. So on the teeny tiny letter we've got a postage stamp and then teeny tiny extras. And then inside it says, Brittany, thanks for opening my letter with a little smiley face. Oh my goodness, there was so many little bits of paper in that tiny envelope. We have a little tiny book, little tiny book pages, a little map, and then a few little tiny stickers and a little washi tape sample. Thank you so much for entering the mini mail challenge. I loved how tiny it was. So next we have a mini mail from Jen and Jen is actually a patron of mine over on Patreon and she wrote that this letter isn't private and I wanted to show you the letter because she included her Instagram tag at the bottom there. So go check out her Instagram 
and look at this gorgeous squirrel. I wanted to show you that as well. So definitely check out her Instagram because she posts regularly um, and it's mainly a snail mail Instagram so I think you'll really love it. Alrighty, so she sent this box and it's one of these ones where you open at the back here. And she said that she had a lot of inspiration from Kingfisher birds. She's over in the UK. I love Jen's snail mail. It's so pretty. Okay, let's do this one first. So it looks like it's going to be a tag flip book. <gasps> and there's mini tags. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, look at this little mini envelope with the um, wax seal. And then another little mini envelope. And then there's original artwork. Okay, I'll pop that one down. Look how adorable all these little mini tags are. They look like they're homemade. And then we've got all this beautiful ephemera in here and stickers tags and lots of bits and pieces so I'll pop all those back in I can't wait to journal with those gorgeous this was also in the little tag flip book and I think it's little pieces of paper all oh, little kingfishers I love that thank you oh my goodness <gasps> These are gorgeous. I can't believe you drew these. These are so lovely. Wow. I'm putting these ones straight in my journal. They're so pretty. So next, we've also got this beautifully wrapped vellum envelope with a little kingfisher underneath. And then it looks like, I'll have to peel this off, it looks like there's going to be miniature wax seals inside. Or at least a little bit smaller than the bigger ones. <laughs> Does that make sense? Smaller than the bigger ones? Smaller than usual. These are so pretty, Jen. Thank you so much for sharing these. Oh, I love that. You make the most beautiful wax seals. And then lastly, we have this beautifully designed envelope. And honestly, I really don't want to be opening these. I really want to keep them as is. And she shared all beautiful papers. Oh, I love that one. Little postal one. All these little tags and vellum paper. Thank you so much, Jen, for entering. Your collages are beautiful as always. And I appreciate you sending me the little wax seals and all the extra goodies. So thanks for entering the mini mail challenge. This next one here is from Jessica from Canada. And on the back, it says it's been opened for customs. So I hope it all looks the same way that she packed it. Maybe someone has gone through it like fully or they might've just had like a sneak peek. So we'll soon find out. But maybe this peg was on something before and whoever opened it might have tried to wrap it back up. So yeah, not sure if this is the way that you put it all together, but I hope so. We've got these beautiful bits of pieces of paper for collaging. We've also got these big pieces of paper that I love collaging with as well. I might just peg that down there. And then it looks like this is going to be the flip book. And then on the back, it even has everything that's inside. So on the front of the flip book, it says, For you, Brittany. I think that's so sweet. And then we've got the letter. So I'll pop that one down. On top, we've got the Instagram. So pause the screen now if you want to go check out her Instagram. And then I can see here we've got some chamomile tea. Chamomile and lavender. As well as honey and ginger oh yummy when I finish all of these mini mail um, videos I like to sit down with a cup of tea that you guys have given me to read through all the letters and then some do some journaling so thank you and then I think it opens up again this is so pretty I'll show you the full flip book so you can see it 
So you can see that there's some Totoro stickers, Studio Ghibli. And then underneath, I think these kawaii stickers. Thank you. And then we've got some gorgeous writing paper. And it's this cat annoying a little panda. That's so cute. Thank you. And then we've also got these little cards that say for you. And then some beautiful washi tape samples. And then on the side, some gorgeous stickers. I love these. Some little cacti and succulents. This is so sweet. Thank you so much. We've got all of that, as well as the lovely letter and the papers there. And then we've got this little envelope here as well, full of goodies. <gasps> Yay! I think it's a teeny tiny mail. Look how cute these little Studio Ghibli stickers are. They're so lovely. I think that's little Gigi. And then a tiny little envelope that says, let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like she's used maybe either like chopsticks and chopped off the end, or it could even be a little toothpick with these little washi tape samples inside. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. This letter was gorgeous. I loved everything. This next letter is from Esther from England. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. I already love it just by looking at the colour palettes. And I can see that there's a few bulky extras here, so I can't wait to see what you've created. I think let's start off with the flip book. We'll pop the letter aside, but I just want to say that your collaging is just absolutely gorgeous. So she has an Etsy store. I can't wait to check it out. So Sunny Day Stationery UK. So let's start with this flip book. And it's beautifully wrapped. I'm going to have to just snip it here, I think. And I really like your handwriting. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. How cool are they? I love these little cogs. I'll pop those to the side. I'm like a little magpie. I want to keep all of the pretty shiny things. <laughs> and then it says open and pull. <gasps> what? What? Oh my goodness. I hope you have a great day, it says. Is this upside down? I think maybe it is, because I think you're supposed to pull it from this side. This is so cool. And then it says pull, and then it says for you. Enjoy! <gasps> I love that so much. I've seen people make these before. I think I've even attempted to make this on my channel before. Okay, I need to stop doing that, but I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, on top, we've got little bits of paper, and then it says for you, and then it's like a little mail tag, and then I think there's a little letter in there, and then this one says there's always time for tea, tea vibes, <laughs> and then we've got little labels, so cute, little label stickers, it says believe in yourself. And then these little cogs that I just adore. They're so cool. I'm going to keep those ones. We've got some washi tape samples. Which I love this sunflower one. It's so vibrant. And then it says open. Ah! What? They're sticky notes. <laughs> They're sticky notes with my name. Oh my goodness, that's so creative. Thank you. And then we've got more ephemera. I don't want to pull it all out because I want to keep it really pretty. And then at the back we had this beautiful, I think it's called like waterfall um, flip book maybe. That is so cool. And then beautiful little papers inside. Again, I don't want to take it all out, but you can see how pretty everything is. Let's do this adorable little box next because I think it's handmade and it looks very intriguing. I can't wait to see what's inside. 
So, maybe we open it up by these washi tape bits? I hope so. <gasps> oh my goodness! What? 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 This is so cool! <gasps> Can you guys see what I'm seeing? Is that showing on camera? There's like a little plant here. Little journals. There's also a plant at the bottom. And then all these little mails. There's a little journal. It's like a little desk. So like when you show it up right, it should be like a little writing desk. And there's even writing on it. Oh my goodness. Can I even get even closer? I love that so much. Okay. <laughs> this is so cute and mini. Oh, and all the little envelopes. I love, it's like a little art studio desk. Okay. A little writing desk, that's what that is. Your own little personal writing desk. That's the desk top there. Okay. That was very impressive. <laughs> All right, we need to move on. If not, I could just look at that all day. So we've got the little extras next. We've got this adorable little mini hedgehog and it says for your mini art studio. Thank you so much. It's so cute. I'll find a little spot for this little guy. And now we've got this little parcel that says open last. So inside we've got a little tiny journal, I think. And it was wrapped in this cute little um, love heart bow. So that was really wrapped really pretty there. And then we've got this tiny, teeny little note. We've got an envelope full of goodies. And then we've also got another little envelope. I adore that you've used the sunflower theme the whole way through. <gasps> it's a mini junk journal. This is the sweetest thing. Even making a regular size junk journal is hard, so making a little teeny tiny one because you have to cut out every little piece of paper. So just the time and effort you did to put in this is just incredible. So next we've got the teeny tiny note. Have a great day. You really deserve to be blessed today. Oh, And then a little doodle of an envelope at the bottom. This is so sweet. And then we've got prints little prints on watercolour paper. You got mail! Little trees and plants. That's such a lovely idea. Thank you so much. And then lucky last I think we have a little flip book and it's an envelope flip book. <gasps> it's so tiny! We got little bird stickers in the top one. Little washi tape samples. And then, what's in here? I think just little bits and pieces of paper. And this collage is on the back. So lovely. You've put so much time and effort into this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for creating all these little goodies and being part of the Minnie Mouse Challenge. I'm going to go through all your extras now and I'm going to have to put this little um, writing desk up near with my mini bookshelves. So thank you so much for sending all these goodies. So the last mini mail I have for you today is from Devashi from India. So let's see what's inside. So we've got these cute little envelopes. The first one says Brittany and then the next two are plain. So I'll start off with opening the Brittany one. This might be the letter, but let's find out. There's so many little things inside. So we've got an even smaller envelope. We've got this one that says magic and it's a little shaker pocket. And then this says the universe supports you in every way. And that's like a little card. Hello, <laughs> little quote card. And then we've got some washi tape samples. Some sticky notes. And then this might be the letter. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll read that one afterwards. Oh, absolutely love your channel and ideas. You're such a sweet person. Oh, that's such a sweet note. Thank you. 
always nice to hear when you guys are enjoying my videos. So this is the bigger envelope that matches this little mini one here. And we've got some gorgeous papers. And then last, we have this envelope. And again, this looks handmade. And it's got these stickers. Oh, wow! I have never seen these ones before. That is so cool. So shiny. Thank you so much. I can't wait to use those. Thank you so much, Devonshi, for joining the Minnie Mouse Challenge. I love this cute little package you sent. And thank you to everyone who's participated so far. You can go vote now. So this was part two and there will definitely be a part three because I think I'm still waiting on around 12 or 13 more Minnie Mails to arrive in my PO box. So thank you to everyone who participated once again. I enjoyed opening up all your little mini mails and seeing everyone's different styles, ideas and creations. Um, and yeah, go vote now. Voting is in the description box. All you'll need to do is click on the link and vote for your favorite. So thanks for watching this video today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.